Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. And here we go. It's a new week, and we had a lot of excitement at the end of last week. I had posted over here on my Twitter page that the altcoin market cap had reached the 0.702 Fibonacci retracement, which is the big moment, and decisions are being made here. And it's true, we did. We came up and touched exactly on the 0.702. When we look at the total altcoin market cap right now, that's where we do still reside. So let's put this back on the four hour. And there you go. You can see it right there. We are still hovering right underneath this 0.702. So we need a breakout to the upside. Either this is the optimal sell point or it's the it's the breakout moment that we've been waiting for. So all eyes are on being able to take out this level right here at about 92 billion. Once we do clear 92 billion, our next big resistance is going to be one leg higher, which is going to be right here at about 104. But getting through 92 is our big moment right now. So we're keeping our eyes on this one, hoping that it does happen sometime soon. Now, I have a secret that I've kept from you guys. Are you ready? Now, this happened back in March, and you guys are going to be like, no, no, because of what happened in March, but I'm on vacation. <laughs> I went on vacation back in March, and that's when the market, you know, did its craziness March 12th and 13th, and I'm on vacation again. But the really good news is I brought my computer with me. I brought my monitor. I brought my keyboard, my mouse, all my stuff, and we're all set, and I can still record videos while I'm out here. So you kind of wake up in the morning. I come knock this out and take a look at these markets, because let's be real. How can I take my eyes off of it when we're at this key moment right now? So getting these videos cranked out for you guys and uh, it's really something I would be doing anyway regardless of uh, if there was a YouTube video to make or not I would spend the first couple of hours looking at all this stuff anyway so let's dive on in as for XRP we did not clear any type of, of major level yet you could see on the daily time frame that it did come up close to the 200 day moving average but no we did not get through we got stopped right below it so it's still waiting right now to see if we're going to clear all of these important levels. Total market cap, we were trying to get above 272. We got to almost 272. Let's take a look and see exactly where we got to. We got to 271. Um, so our big number is up there at 272 to get through. But it looks like there's still the potential and probability that it will go to the upside. So I'm still really optimistic that things are still okay. It's looking fine to me right now. As for the market in general, from the broader perspective, things are looking good. I mean, we have a nice green day to start out the week. So does the U.S. stock market, which is quite wild considering everything going on in the United States over the last 72 hours. Somehow the stock market opens positive. So if you've ever thought that news really matters in markets, I hope that you're aware now. It doesn't really. It doesn't really matter. News is used to just explain away price action. The price action will occur regardless of of what the news is right now the united states has 40 million people unemployed they are printing money out of control small businesses are burning to the ground and the stock market is rising but as for crypto we're kind of trying to enjoy our own party over here and uh, this is this is what you call uh, finger night finger biting you know fingernail biting area for me okay so you know I, I know a lot of people they get their they start biting their fingernails and really panicking way down here after the price has already moved down really far this is where I'm biting my fingernails this is where I'm you know getting in that kind of extreme concern level because I look at this and I say okay I I, I don't get emotionally swung during the swings. I know where the critical moment is on whether or not this market's going to fall down. I mean, like, okay, so you take a look down here, right? So you have all these people selling right here, hoping to get down here, right? And they're hoping to get 35% by selling after a 50% drop to grab more right here. But I, I just I know how this how these waves work and that we get up to here and you it 35 percent doesn't even take us to new lows. I mean, that only takes us to right there. Right. And, and I look at this and I say, OK, we got to break up to the upside right here. It is so critical um, for this market to be starting a bullish cycle that this this level gets taken out right here right now. So I, I hope that everybody kind of gets the message that I'm trying to put across right here that right now is critical. Critical, critical, critical. The thing that we can do from a positive perspective is just look elsewhere to try to see if we could find places where this could possibly be doing something different. 
So like on Cardano, for example, we can see that it did clear above all these levels. However, when we take it over to the June top, you can see it's stopping right here at the 0 0.702. What are some other big ones? Let's go to Ethereum. Ethereum has taken out that 0 0.702, did get knocked identically on the 0.786 retrace. So let's hope it gets beyond that. And then if it does get beyond that, obviously the next stopping level is going to be $281 for Ethereum. So we've just got, you know, guys, and this is really what it is when you get into the zone. And when we start grinding our way back up, it's all about finding those points where things are going to have a pullback. Um, I, I know a lot of people want to look at these markets and they want to see just green candles, no red whatsoever. We need only greens. And then when they go green, I want to make sure that I'm the one who sells the very tip top before any red shows up on the board. However, you know, we are going to get pullbacks along the way. So we're trying to figure out where are those places at so that way we can emotionally be prepared for those. Um, so we're, we're kind of at that moment right now. But one of the things that's super critical, and I know I keep saying that word, is that for the first step to at least say that things are okay and we can have pullbacks and not be too worried about pullbacks when they come is to at least get through this level. If we get through this level, we're more than welcome to come up here and then come back down and, and, and you know do whatever we need to do so long as that level gets taken out first at you know $92 billion for the total market cap. And then of course, we'll take a look over here at Bitcoin and we can see that we are still just consolidating in our triangle. Now, let me tell you this too. Last time I went on vacation to the exact place I'm at right now was right here at this time last year. So if you guys are worried because I'm on vacation, because this happened the last time I was on vacation, well, the last time I was here on this exact same vacation was all up in here. So are we at the exact same moment in time? Uh, that's what we're all kind of hoping for, right? You could see that. Let me take this off the log scale, and there we go. You could see that we would need to be kind of breaking our way on out of here. So we'll see how this all goes. But you can see that it's still just in a triangle still at this time. So it's still in consolidating in a range. And we have to wait. Um, a, a breakout for Bitcoin is going to probably be the indicator that we see the rest of the market break out and gives us above all of our our critical Fibonacci retracement levels. So guys, I know, I know it's just kind of one of the, one more of those wait and sees, but it really does seem that we're going to have some type of decision come in really soon, whether or not that's, we're going to get rejected off those Fibonacci retracement levels, or we're going to break through them, but we've already had two days to consolidate underneath them. Let me go back to there. We've had two days now to consolidate underneath this level. I'm going to expect there's going to be at least another stab at it. Within the next 24 hours, we should stab at it again, and we'll see if we're going to actually clear out of it and get through it or if that's going to be our major rejection. But the time is coming, and I'm going to expect it to get there and touch it again by tomorrow. So hopefully when I make my video tomorrow, we have some type of reaction at that point. And then let's get to XRP again, because that's what most people come here for. And it's just the same thing, right? We're stuck here underneath this 200 moving average. I don't expect to see a big move down at this point. Um, it, it is seeming more and more likely that this was actually the, the 17 and a half cent dip that we saw. As you know, it did it within just half of a heartbeat, practically. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Just a complete wick straight down to hit it really fast is what we were looking for. I didn't expect it to happen that fast, but sure enough, that must be it. Now we're just waiting for this moment to come in here and clear out of here. I don't think it's going to come back and touch that again, guys. I think it is going to go to the upside. I have no way to guarantee that. So if you're sitting here saying, oh, I have to FOMO in right now. Well, no, that's, the, that's not what I'm telling you. But I'm, I'm leaning a whole lot less likely that we're going to come back and touch it again. I'm expecting for us to now find our way to squeeze on out of here within the next day or two. So time's coming. But all right, guys, we're going to keep this one pretty brief because I've got some stuff I need to do on my vacation. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. Please follow me over here on Twitter at BC Backer. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. It means the absolute world to me. Like I mentioned, I always check it. I will absolutely check it even when I'm on vacation. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor. 
But if you ever need a pick-me-up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.